Hi Darcy. Hi, my name's Amina. I'm one of the children's doctors here. Is this your mum? Hello. Is it okay today if I have a little look at your chest and if I listen to your heart and look at your hands? Would that be okay? Thank you, darling. And is that okay with you too, Mum? All right. Would it be possible if you either took your dress off or just pulled it up, whichever one you're more comfortable with? And I'm just going to take a little look around the room to start off with, just to see if you've brought anything with you. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Can I take it? I love your hair. It's so long. Yeah. Have you been growing it for a long time? Can I take a look at your hands to start off with? And here? Lovely. And could you, have you done this thing before where you stick your fingers up like this and then down and then put them together? Could you try that for me? Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Well done. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, well, that's nice. Thank you. And I'm just going to have a little feel here. And here. Great. Thank you. Um, at this point, I'd like to know um, Darcy's blood pressure, if possible. I'll ask for that at the end. Okay. And can I take a look at your eyes? Yeah. Is it okay if you just pull your eyelid down a little bit like this? Oh, lovely. Thank you. And can you open your mouth up really wide and let me have a look inside? Nice teeth. Looks like you take good care of your teeth, eh? All right. And now rest your head back a little bit. Just rest it back on here. And look at Mummy. And I'm just going to take a look at your neck. Perfect. Thank you. And now, is it okay if I have a feel of your neck and of your chest? Is that all right? Yeah. Let me have a feel here. You just rest, sweetie. Well done. And over this side. Well done. And here. Great, thank you. And just a little feel here. Are my hands cold. Are they? Oh, I'm so sorry. Now I'm going to have a little listen. I look a bit funny when I've got this on, eh? Yeah. <laughs> well done. And make sure this is warm for you. Okay, now, Darcy, is it possible if you just sit up a little bit? Yeah. I'll help you get up. Thank you. Well done. Just have a little listen here again. And up here. Can you take a really deep breath in and hold like this? <gasps> like you're going under sea. Well done. And now breathe normally. And I'm just going to have a little listen to your um, back here. Take two deep breaths. And again. And last one. Okay, and I'm just going to press on your back. Well done. You can rest back. You can rest. Well done. And I've pressed on your back, but also we'll just have a little press here. I won't make you take your tights off, don't worry. All right. Darcy, thank you so much for letting me examine you. And before I leave, can I ask how old you are again? Six. Three. Three. <gasps> Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you, Darcy. Okay. Thank you very much.
very much. Do you want to try and put it all together for me? Okay, so um, thank you for asking me to examine Darcy, who's a lovely three-year-old girl. I undertook her cardiovascular examination today. Um, on inspection, Darcy appeared to be well-grown for her age, although I'd like to plot her in an appropriate growth chart. Mm -hmm. She also seemed to be comfortable at rest. She wasn't dyspneic and she didn't seem to be cyanosed. Um, on examination, I noticed that she had um, an abnormality of her right arm. Her thumb was missing and she had a... Um, she may have a problem with her radius on that side uh, because her arm was angulated. Um, her, she did not have any cyanosis, she did not have any conjunctival pallor, but on examination of her chest, she had a midline stenotomy incision. Mm -hmm. And on auscultation, I could hear a pan-systolic murmur, which was heard throughout the um, chest field, but heard most loudly on the left um, sternal edge. She did not have any signs of cardiac failure, uh, no edema. And I would like to complete my examination by examining her for hepatomegaly and checking for her blood pressure and um, feeling for her femoral pulses. Okay. Um, so I think her cardiac abnormality is most likely to be a ventricular septal defect for being pan-systolic on the left sternal edge. And the um, abnormality of the radius, sometimes you get cardiac and um, uh, skeletal abnormalities in certain um, syndromes, uh, one of which is uh, vactral, in which you can get vertebral anomalies, mm -hmm. anal um, problems, uh, radial defects, um, esophageal defects, and uh, cardiac abnormalities as well. So I'd want to perform a full examination looking for any other features of this condition. Um, so the stenotomy scar indicates that she's had previous um, surgical, cardiac surg likely cardiac surgery. Mm -hmm. The murmur could either be a residual murmur or the surgery could have been for a different problem and the VSD still persists. So what, sort of, what other operations go through the stenotomy scar? Um, any cardiac, um, most cardiac surgeries would go through a midline stenotomy scar. It would be difficult to tell just from the examination. I'd want to take a full history as well. Right. Does she have any other scars? Um, the main scar that I noted was the midline stenotomy scar, and I'd want to examine her um, undressed um, to look for any other scars, including um, any possible catheterization scars that would be in the femorals, any chest strain scars, or any scars in her, on her back. Thank you very much indeed. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> um, so Darcy has a bacterial association at six weeks old. Um, her murmur was picked up. Um, she then got really poorly at 10 months old and had an emergency heart operation. She has a VSD and pulmonary stenosis. She's had two open heart surgeries and she's now on the wait list for her third. Uh, she also had um, anal anomalies, so she had a recto vestibular fistula. Uh, she had a colostomy of recto vestibular fistula. Where does that go then? Um, down below. Not recto vaginal fistula? No. Recto vestibular fistula. Okay. Um, and she had a colostomy at one, uh, she had that for one year and that's been reversed. So we're in the process of uh, planning, um, managing her bowel, see where she can go normally. Uh, she's got one kidney um, and then she is missing her radius. And um, her thumb was actually taking off when she was a couple of weeks old um, as it was a floating thumb, it was just coming off. So yeah, that's Darcy. <laughs> And can I just ask, how much does she understand about what's going on? Um, only recently she understands that she needs another operation because it's coming up. I've had to talk to her a bit more about it. Um, but I think most of what's happened, she's forgotten. Um, but she loves going into hospital. She doesn't find it daunting <laughs> at all. She loves the attention she gets. So, um, yeah, she doesn't mind days like today. And in terms of her function and ability with her right hand, um, I presume she's left-handed? Yes she can't pose on her right yeah. hand, but is she able to, um, what is she able to do in terms of what a normal three-year-old would be able to do yeah. in terms of? Um, I mean, she uses it and it's, it's adapted really well. It's just the, um, you know, more finer details she can't, she can't, right. she can pick things up. She uses, um, she uses this grip here to pick things up. Can you show me how you pick up the pencil? With your right hand, with the other hand. hand. <laughs> like that, okay. 
Okay, and is there a plan to do um, further surgery later on to yes. actually turn her, her index finger into more of a, oppose it more of a thumb? Yeah, so she's having um, centralisation of the wrist to try and straighten it a bit more. Okay. And then at the end of that, her index finger will be put into her thumb. Right, okay. And um, in terms of riding a bicycle and things like that, swimming, is that very difficult? She loves swimming. Um, we haven't really broached the bicycle ride yet. Um, or scooters. Um, no, she can scoot really well. So, and how does she manage if her hands are different, her arms are different lengths? Um, she's just a bit wonky, but she okay. reaches and she's, you do it really well, don't you? Yeah. You've just, you just pull her left hand back, she pulls her left hand back. Yeah. Any further questions from the team? Thank you very, very no much. Problem. Much appreciated. And may I please have my pen back? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you.